God bless. Same to you. To well, husband. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world and, um, well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope you didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. You think he's teaching me sword fighting, don't you? What use would that be to me? Here. I'm not lying to you, ma'am. All right, then, if you say so. I don't mean to pry, but you know your father takes a dim view of such things. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. I feel quite hungry. At least you're up. That's a start. Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money, then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunis, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure I'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasal. You want me to go and pick it up? 
All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Welcome, Henry. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard! Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. I misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me. Would you? You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Farewell. Here! 
Ale to prdele. You had it coming, you pup. And your old man can fuck off too. Chest. I'll need a lockpick to get into that. Fritz might have one. Ma? Ah, Ma! I, I'm hurt. I won't stop bleeding. Oh, now, stop squealing like a baby and show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Well, things could be better. Connor shows us money and he doesn't want to pay. That drunkard? It won't be easy wringing any coin out of him. What will you do? I don't know yet, but I have a feeling it won't go smoothly. Too right. Connor won't listen to anything but the whip. And you don't lose your teeth. Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the crossguard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. And did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? When I asked Kunish to pay, he fought me instead. That bastard. You don't look too bad, though. Did you get the better of him? I'm fine, but he didn't give me the money. Ah, it doesn't matter. 
I'll sort him out this evening. I've no time for him now. But without Kunish's money, I can't buy those other things you wanted. Here's coin for the charcoal and the ale. I'll get it back from that mongrel this evening. Let's talk about the price. I. Agree? That's not enough. Finally, a reasonable sum. Hey, Pip, do you want to learn something? No, I don't think so. Thanks. Lace, linen and silk, come right up and take some home. I've got everything you need, day or night, at home or at work. Can't be serious, Dave. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. I had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Gutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. Greetings, Henry. Oh well. Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. Look out! Are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? 
<laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern, and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start on about the popes. He might have mentioned the popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, doshes! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, hands! Can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse hunt! Let's make those smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this proxy Deutsche? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> Fuck her! I'll make you pay for that! I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. and apples picked today to put a smile on your face.
you've sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker hand will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. We've sorted out Deutsch. Now I've got someone else to deal with. Another beating? <laughs> Count me in. Kuna shows money to my father, but he won't pay. I'll have to shake it out of him. Sure, me. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it then. Hmm. Kunesh, get out here, you old goat. I've something to show you. What the fuck are you here for? You want me to take a whip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you old drunk. Bollocks. I'm over here. Oh. Is that a ah. good one? Ah. 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 Enough! Enough! I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? Watch over you. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? No, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? Not yet. I'm working on it. And how much longer will it take? Get a move on. We have to finish that sword today. Or do you want me to look a fool in front of Sir Radzik? No, I don't. I'll be back soon. Ma? Ah, Ma! I, I'm hurt. Won't stop bleeding. Oh, now, stop squealing like a baby and show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma.